Okay guys, before we start the guide, I want to say that first off, you can watch the video in HD. And secondly, you can make the speed at 2. So right now, uh, since this is a long guide, you will see the guide pretty much faster. Yo hello what's up everyone my name is Bilaris and I am back with a new video. Today we are going to complete the quest called uh, the underground pass. I will say it uh, this quest will sh beat the shit out of you. Uh, yeah you will you will fucking hate this quest just saying. Anyway so what you will need for this quest is 25 range. You must be uh, able to defeat 3 level uh, 91 demons. Uh, com you must have completed the bio hazard quest good thieving level and agility is recommended and an advantage all right guys so what you will need is two ropes um, yeah uh, you take a spade some good food uh, some things to teleport away also you take some weapons but what you will of course need is one bow and arrows even if you don't save spot the bus, you will need some arrows and a bow. If you want to save spot the bus and don't do it with melee just like me, take a lot of arrows and have an accumulator if you got it. If you don't save spot it well, just take some arrows like 100 should be enough and your bow. And then as well your melee weapons and armor. Anyways guys, so uh, also what is recommended is having some runes just to teleport uh, back. Alright, to start off this quest, uh, go into the castle, and after that climb up the staircase. After that you will have to uh, talk to King Lettuce. Okay guys, now you go downstairs. And after that you go uh, to Ardogan West. Um, so you go to the west actually uh, where you will have to go is somewhere here to uh, a guy called Kovtik and you will have to talk to him Alright guys, so when you're here you talk to Kaftik. So you continue all the way. I'll take my chances. Alright guys, so now that's done. And now uh, you saw this. Alright guys, right after you enter the cave entrance. Okay, after that, what you will have to do is uh, climb over the rock slide over here. You will fail sometimes, so don't worry, that's normal. You just try again. You'll do this over here as well. Over here as well. And then over here you will see Kaftik. Yeah, Kaftik. You'll talk to him once again. So you just skip the dialogue. Okay, then you ask what does it say. Okay, now you don't have to read this, but you can if you want to. And after that you should have a uh, damn cloak. Alright, that's awesome. If you got that, then you're right. Okay guys, after that you unequip your arrows. 
you use your damp clothes on the iron arrow then you get the fire arrow you can use it on the fire right after now you will have a iron fire arrow or whatever you want you can get multiple ones but i don't think it's needed since i'm not sure you can get two or three of them but i think one should always be enough so let's go after that you go into this uh room over here just go there very quickly you equip your iron fire arrow also you will have to equip your bow of course <laughs> and you fire at the guide rope that's why you actually fucked it okay sometimes uh, it will be kind of difficult i don't fucking know why but yeah sometimes it's lagging anyway so you will have to do that that's why you had to, to bring your magic arrow but yeah okay it worked actually i'm sorry i didn't see it right that's actually why but after that you are here and then you're fine so that's why he was walking like i didn't see that yeah it worked but anyway okay guys so when you're here you go uh, to the north and after that you will have to uh pick up this plank over here after that you go to the south and now you will see two paths one with uh, a swamp and one with a hole if everything is right yeah so you take the one with the hole over here and then you will have to use your rope give me a quick second guys okay you will have to use the rope on uh, the rock then you will have to s rope swing and if you fall down you just walk for further and you come back and yeah you should be fine anyways then you see some uh, giant bats over here and you continue the road okay guys here should be Kavtik somewhere okay so you go through the rocks I'm sorry there was no Kavtik we will see him soon <laughs> all right you go through these rocks as well and now you will have to talk to Kavtik so talk to him very quickly okay now you talk to him is a little bit brainwashed or something I don't fucking know but let's go okay guys right now is the part where you need some food uh, so you take the food over here um, after that you will have to go uh, on those nets I don't fucking know how it's called but uh, you go on on it on one of them but when you got get on the wrong one you will have minus 15 hp yeah guys and only one of them will work so let's try this one okay i was unlucky can i go back up yeah so apparently i was unlucky let's get to this one now and you just try all of them look as you guys can see every time it's minus 15 hp so if you're low combat it's really recommended having a lot of food uh okay climb up come on climb up bitch what the fuck i, I can't even climb up anymore what the fuck is going on okay so you climb up if it doesn't work you go to the next one okay it didn't work and you do it so on until you find the right one okay guys i got really unlucky because it was the last one i tried after that you will have to go to the next one okay after that you will have to go to the uh left side the right side or the upper side uh so there's three chances i'm gonna try the upper side first and i'm lucky if you fall down well you just go back on the first square which worked and then you go back to another side you know after that uh i can go uh left once again right once again or up once again i'm gonna go left i guess no that's the wrong one all right so when you die you go just go back one two after that i went up and it didn't work so i guess now the right one no so it was up once again okay so i can just 
Oh my god, I have to eat right now. <laughs> 3 HP left, what the fuck, I would have raged so fucking hard. And this is one of the reasons why you will hate this fucking quest. Okay, so up, up, and up. Now it's gonna be up once again, I hope. Yeah, okay, for me it was all the way up. I was a little lucky on that because, yeah, it was just all the way up if I would have tried that. It would have worked, but anyways. After that you will see this uh, porty gullies. Okay guys, after that we will have to find a lever over here, at the left side, and then you will automatically go through the gate. Okay guys, it's awesome. Okay guys, after that you go to the west, yeah. And then we will see a small pad, but there's a lot of uh, things you have to pay attention on. So, this is why you require a good thieving level. You have to search the odd uh, markings. It's a trap. Yes, I'll go. Okay, sometimes you will fail and it will cost you some life. But yeah, sometimes it will work and that's why you need a good thieving level. Okay. Anyways, if you go past it, well, you can do that as well. But that will attack you as well. So anyways. And you will see like a stupid stone tablet. But anyways, after that you go there. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, fuck this. This is why you have to search them. But anyways, it took too long. So I was like, fuck it. Okay, after that you will see a well. Okay, guys. Now pay attention, okay? Because this is really difficult. Especially if you are low um, HP or defense. Anyway, so what you will do is you need your plank that you picked up. You use the plank on uh, the flat rock over here. Okay, guys? Pay really attention. Sometimes you can fall off it, I think. Uh, if you fall off it, well, just go as fast as you can off it. Because if you don't, you will die, guys. You will die. Alrighty, guys. After that, you do this. And you do it with every single of them. Okay, guys? Okay, flat rock. As you guys can see, there is an orb of light. This is something you will need. After that, you go back. You use once again your planks. Don't forget it, because if you forget it, well, you will get uh, a lot of lower HP. And if you stand too long on the flat rock, you will die. As I already said, but yeah, you never know if you didn't really understand. So anyways, you use your plank once again, and after that you got your first um, orb of light. Okay guys, next path is this one that we are going to take. There's a lot of spawns, uh, monsters, so yeah, you can recharge your prayer over here at the child's altar if you want. Um, anyway, so then you run all the way through the monsters to the next orb. There's ogres and all the crap, spiders. Yeah, anyways, then you go back. So that's the second orb. Okay, guys, now we're gonna do the third one. And at this one, you will do exactly the same thing as at the first one. So you use your plank on the flat rock. Okay. Use the plank on the next flat, uh, flat rock. And you do, all, do it all the way. Okay. Then you take the orb of light once again and you go back. Okay, awesome. Now the last orb of light. So for the last one, what you will do is just run all the way to the east. Okay. And after that, you will see a orb of light. Don't pick it up, guys. Don't fucking pick it up. Because why not? 
well if you pick it up this log over here will fall on you or i don't know how it actually works because i'm not gonna try it but yeah don't do it just search the flat rock under it okay guys yes i'll give it a go and now you've got your last orb of light all right guys you run all the way back until you are back in this little room over here all right all righty guys so what now you are going to do now is go all the way to the west uh check out that you won't get caught again by those thingies so just uh search them once again i'm just yolo and i'm high hp so i don't do it but it's highly recommending doing it anyways after that you are close to this uh stupid zombies after that you see a furnace over here uh you use the orb of light on the furnace you wait after that you use the second one after that you use the third one and then after that you use the fourth one okay guys when that's done you can go into the hole i think yeah uh first you eat and then you search the thingies again don't forget that because sometimes you can really right now i'm just getting tens and all the crap but sometimes you get like multiple attacks and then you can really get insta killed you know what i'm saying so really pay attention on that okay guys after that you go to the uh, west more and after that what you will see over here is a um, is a prison or something like that you will have to pick the luck of this prison over here like the uh, southeast I believe yeah uh, and after that no you won't have to kill this bitch uh, you will have to use your spade on the mud yeah, after that you guys will come up over here okay guys so when you're here you go to the west yeah right you will come where i am at the moment and you will have to cross the ledge and then you will see some stupid bats once again and you will have to go on this platform thingy you will cross the stone bridges all the time until you will oh fuck yeah when you fail i don't fucking know what you have to do actually uh when you fail you just have to try climbing back up wait give me a second okay guys so when you fail you ju can just get up back again from here okay so there's no problem anyway so you cross the stone bridge again if you fail and just do the way i do it okay guys we made it after that you are here alrighty guys so when you got this piece of railing you go up this path over here and you go to the south okay then you guys will see a boulder but if you try to pushing it it won't work you will have to use your piece of railing on the boulder and now it's gonna be horrible guys i'm a vegetarian so i can't see this yes actually i'm a vegetarian in real life uh okay that's pretty much about it so then you go back and anyways guys we did all of that just to uh search this smash bowl and get a fucking unicorn horn was that worth the life of a fucking unicorn i don't fucking know Anyway, so you pass through the tunnel, just like me, and then you are uh, in here. Okay, you will walk all the way through this path, just take the same course as I do, and you should get there. Okay guys, after that you will see some uh, knights. 
We will first talk to all of them to get some uh, food and potions. Nope, not this one. This one maybe? Nope, this one? Yeah, so we got something to eat. Awesome. And this nice guy, we... He gave us that shit, but we have to kill him. Okay, that's just so fucking... This is like such a um, stupid quest for that. Like, you kill a unicorn, which didn't do anything wrong. You fucking uh, kill knights, who give you nicely food and all that crap, but you have to kill them. Like, nice guys, you have to kill them. Okay. Anyway, so you will have to kill them, yeah. Um... Okay, just do that. So as you guys can see, they uh, drop some stuff like badges. You will have to uh, pick all of them up. Oh, this is the wrong one. What the fuck? They respawn. Okay, that sucks. Okay, when they respawn, yeah, you just try remembering their stupid name, but... Okay guys, then you should have three different badges. Just check out that you got all three of them. Okay guys, so then you go back to the fucking west. And after that you will see another fall over here. So be careful and use your plank on the flat rock. Okay guys, awesome. After that you go back to the west. And you will get to another cave over here. We'll see a new well as well. <laughs> it's a rhyme. Okay, awesome. Okay, what you will do is use your unicorn horn on the well. After that, you will use your uh, badge badges on the well, all of them. Okay, and then you will open the door. Okay, now you will see like a big hole. I don't fucking know what it this exactly represents. It's a kind of maze or something. But anyway, what you will do in here is run straight south, all the way south. Until you will see a uh, hole and entrance into the wall. So you will search for that. Okay guys, here it is. So after that you descend the cave, cave stairs. And then you will see like a uh, Gothic first off. And um, some dwarves. Okay, let's go. So you will go into this little village of um, dwarves actually. Um, here you can get some new food. I just, yeah, you can get some new food actually. But uh, first off, you will have to talk to um, to Cayman, I believe. Yeah, you.
talk to Cayman. And he will give you some stuff. Uh, first off, he will let you drink. And that will get some of your HP off. But after that, he will give you some food as well. Okay. Okay, so you get some less HP, but you get some more uh, food. And that's nice. So, yeah, there's no problem for that. After that, talk to Niluf. That's another dwarf over here. Okay. Now we will say you a whole lot of things, like a lot of stuff we don't really care about. He'll also give you some food. And uh, yeah, you just take some of it. Okay. I equip this arrow, so it gives me some more inventory space. And now you're good to go. Okay, so guys, now you go back. To the room you just came from. With the kind of maze thingy. To ascend the cave stairs. Okay. After that you will be back here. And you will just go. Uh, first off you will go back. To the east. Then you go, will go to the north. Until you see. A kind of way to go there. So search for that. After that you see this, probably. You will have to cross the bridges again. If you fall off, you will go back to the dwarves, so there's no worries. Uh, but yeah, when you're at the dwarves once again, just come back to here uh, to get back where we are right now. So that's awesome. To that you are at a witch's house, I believe. And uh, yeah, here we are. So. Now you will see the witch. I believe it's a witch. I'm not sure though. And uh, you will get uh, your HP will get off when you try to open the door. Okay, guys. What you will do is try to find a uh, a window over here. You will search it, and now you will see that the uh, witch uh, is searching for something, and she she will say like, "Oh, kitty, kitty." So she's searching for a fucking cat so you will try to find that cat after that guys uh, to get the kitty so you'll go to the northeast just go the way I go okay after that you go you just go the way I go okay After that you will see the witch cat, you pick it up, okay first off, don't do like me, just you need some inventory space, so pick up the cat, and then you go back to the witch house. Okay guys, when you're back at this witch bitch, you use uh, the witch cat on the door. So that you um, come over here. After that you will open the door. And you will open the chest. Try having some uh, inventory space, not like me, and then you uh, try searching the chest. Okay guys, you go back out when you searched it, you will find like history of Iban, doll of Iban and all that crap. You'll also get a restore potion, but I didn't have inventory space, so I didn't pick it up. Now you will read the history of Iban. Introduction. Alright. After that the Iban. Okay. Go through all these pages. Don't have to read it but just open the book. 
Uh, after that you will the reservation or something like that and after that you will take the four elementals and you take all of them like flesh blood shadow take all the pages of shadow and conscience okay you take all of those pages as well and then uh, you're fine okay guys now we have to kill some demons so you go um oh, what the fuck am i doing okay i'm sorry you go north just like i'm doing just the way you did for the cat but instead of that we will uh go to the uh, south right after so you go up there now uh, most of you guys will fail <laughs> all right so you um, should cross the bridge over here hopefully we won't fall all right this is awesome okay after that you kill uh, Holtion you t kill all of those demons and you will get some amulets so let's go pick up the amulet so that you go to the next one Okay guys, if you die just like me, you just um, you just go uh, S and D cave stairs, and you just go back. Okay guys, uh, I just thought that I forgot to pick up one. I just uh, could pick it up again, but be sure that you have some inventory space to pick this shit up. Okay. After that, you attack the last demon. Okay guys, you pick up the last amulet and you go back uh, through this platform and then you will go to the last platform over here and you will open the chest. No, you will use your three amulets, every single one of them you will use it on the chest. Okay guys, so when you open it you automatically use the uh, amulets on the chest so you don't have to actually use them manually then you will get the iban shadow so you use the iban shadow on the uh, doll of iban okay after that that's done okay guys after that you go back up and you will go back to the dwarven uh dwarven city thingy underground anyway so you just go the way I go as I always said but yeah anyways
Okay guys, when you're back at the Dwarven camp, uh, talk with Clank. Okay, hi Clank. That's right, okay. Right now we will give you, uh, first off, some gloves. Clank's gloves, gauntlets, and a tinder box. Anyways guys, those gloves are uh, not only good for this quest, but also they're quite good for melee uh, bonus. As you guys can see right now, they're quite good. If you don't uh, have the recipe of disaster uh, started, well, I would highly recommend using these gloves. I will use these gloves later on. Uh, just drop the gloves and talk to them again to get them back. So you get them back, okay? So that's the way you want to do this. I'm not going to take it just because uh, I have ruined countless bank. But anyway, so... Then you will get this countlets and this tender bar. Okay guys, after that you go to the big house and you open the door. And after that you will try finding a... Where is it? A bucket. Okay, we found a fucking bucket. That's awesome. Um, so what you will do with this bucket is go uh, to the little house now. And you will open the door. Okay. Uh, after that you use the bucket on the barrel and now you'll get some uh, brew some alcohol fucking awesome let's drink and let's party but anyways that's not what you're gonna do because you have to complete the quest okay guys right after that you will have to head on east out of the dwarven camp so let's go you go all the way to the east non-stop like a fucking bus okay then you will have to go up those stairs and you will see a thumb. Okay guys, when you see this thumb you will notice that is the Ibans one, so awesome. Okay, so guys you use the brew on the thumb. After that you use your tinder box on the thumb. And now you will see like it's burning, oh my god. Uh, you will get some ashes, be sure that if you don't have any space anymore, just drop your bucket. And don't pick it up again like a motherfucking bitch. Okay, after that you use your ashes on the doll. Awesome, okay, that part is done as well. Okay guys, so you head on all the way north. Just like I'm doing. Until you will see like a small way. You will see a lot of soulless over here. And now guys if you're afraid of spiders. Just don't watch okay. Because there's a fucking lot of spiders in here. And you will have to kill a uh, giant spider. So if you are afraid of spiders. Just stop the quest okay. After that you attack Colrec. Pray if you want to, or yeah, you can try safe spotting him. I don't know if there's any safe spot, maybe between the slugs and uh, this bones. I don't know. Anyway, so you kill him, and when he's killed, you should return. So, okay, he's killed, so get out, especially if you're afraid of those fucking stupid spiders. Because look at this, there's really a lot. <laughs> So, anyways, that's pretty much it. Okay hey guys, when you're back here, you uh, one more time <laughs> ascend the gas stairs, stairs, whatever. And now you will head on all the way to the northwest, I believe, from the maze. So let's go.
Alright guys, after that you will see a whole lot of cages over here with half solus into it. Level 1, okay, so you run up over here. And after that, now you f will search all those cages over here until you find a dove, so let's go. Every time you search one you will get some less HP, so be sure that you still have some food. Okay guys, so if that didn't work, any of those, you cross the bridge once again, because there's more up there, yeah. I <laughs> uh, go up, and you search the, uh, the cage. We'll do this for all of them, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of lagging, but it's fine, I guess. Okay guys, we've already found the Ibn stuff and when you get this, this get to the next part. Right guys, right now you will uh, just go like me and you will try to find 
um, some uh, Zemrak mages or something like that. I, I don't know how they are exactly called, but some Zemrakian things. Um, and you go trying to find those because you need their ropes. So you'll search at the eastern part of the maze uh, for uh, actually those mages like the disciple of Ivan. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so what you will do is go to the east of the maze, go up, cross the bridge. Yes, don't fail. <laughs> okay, after that, you will go uh, through this way. You will see a lot of soulless over here. We'll cross the bridges here as well. Hopefully you don't fall. Hopefully I don't fall as well. Uh, after that you just go all the way to the south like I'm doing. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. I shouldn't say this because I will get unlucky right after. Anyway, so after that you cross this bridge as well. Please, guys. <laughs> don't fail. <laughs> Alrighty. After that you take attack uh, a disciple of Iban. I think all of them drop always the same so you don't have to kill multiple uh, you take up the Zamorak ropes you equip them and I think you have to unequip all other uh, items so do that okay guys uh, first off be sure that you are only equipping the Zamorak ropes after that be sure that you have three inventory spaces so I take, uh, I eat this shit very quickly. So now I have three inventory spaces. Do the same. Even uh, double check when you unequipped your items because, uh, yeah, you know. After that, you cross the bridge. And you, if you guys still don't know where to go, well, uh, you just go to the middle of the maze, okay, guys? After that, you guys will see this temple area over here. You pray mage. Yeah, magic. Don't forget, don't equip anything else. Open the door. And after that you will see like this stupid crap. Okay, go up. Use the Doll of Iban on the well. Okay, sometimes you'll get the same sh fucking shit as me. Okay guys, after that you got Iban's staff and some runes. Okay guys, after that, uh, go up, uh, don't go up, just go east, yeah. Go the way I go, as always, and you will see the guy where you, that you see and saw at the beginning over here. Cough trick, okay. Um, after that, you will see that you destroyed it and you will uh, return here. So what you will do back is go to the west. Yeah, the west. And you will go back where we started the quest. Like in the little castle in East Ardogan. Over here. So you will run all the way through there. But you can also just uh, use your teleports. Your Ardogan teleport. You can do that as well. That's easier if you brought that. Well, GG. After that you run east. If you did your Ardogan teleport. If you didn't, well, you, you just go the way back. As you did at the beginning to go there. It's easy, you don't need the uh, Ardogan teleport, but it's easier, so yeah, that's why I can recommend you to have this. Anyway, so you go back to the little king guy, and then you will have completed the quest, so yeah. Ah, uh, let's go. You open the door. Okay, awesome. You open the door, no, you, you climb up the staircase, I'm sorry guys, it's la late in the evening, that's actually why I'm talking so badly. But anyway, so you talk to um, the king, any news, yeah, any news, okay, what we got right now is 5 quest points, that's really a lot, but yeah, it took us over 1 hour I believe, so yeah, actually we deserve the five quest points 3000 agility and attack xp and the iban staff all right guys that was the guide of the day i hope you guys enjoyed if you did so please leave a little thumbs up that's always appreciated 
I hope to see you guys in my next guide tomorrow. If you want to see that, uh, it will probably be a money making guide, not sure though. If you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe on the channel. And I will see you guys back then. Bye.